November 2nd, Dia de los Muertos by Albert Rios. It's not simply the day of the dead, loud, and parties. More quietly, it's the day of my death, the day of your death. These days, the neon of it all, the big teeth, laughing skulls, the post galicas, and Katrina, and happy dead people doing funny things. It's all good and human, and sometimes I can't help myself. I laugh out loud too, but I miss my father. My grandmother has been gone. Almost so long, I can't grab hold of her voice with my ears anymore. Not easy. My mother-in-law, she's still here, still in things packed. In boxes, her laughter on videotape and in conversation, our dog died several years ago, and I try to say his name. Whenever I leave the house, you take care of this house now. I say it on the way I always have. The way he he knows. I grew up with the trips to the cemetery and Pan de Muerto, the prayers and the favorite foods, the carne asada and the beer. But that was in a, in the small town where my memory still lives. Today I'm in the big city, and that small town feels far away. The Day of the Dead. It's really the Days of the Dead. All Saints Day. The 1st of November, also called Dia de los Angelitos. Everybody thinks it's the Day of the Dead, but it's not, not exactly. The first day is for those who have died a saint. For the small innocent, the criaturas, the tender creatures, I mean, yeah, who've been taken away from us sometimes without us. To die a saint deserves this day. To die a child the following day. The 2nd of November, this is for everybody else who has died. And there are so many, a, a father, a distant uncle, or lost cousin. It's hard enough even, oh my messed up. <laughs> it's hard enough to keep track even within one's own family. Uh, but the day belongs to everyone, so many homes, uh, altars. It's hard enough even to keep track with one's own family, but the day belongs to everyone, so many home altars. So many parents gone, so many husbands, so many aunt Normas, and many Connies and Matildas, countless friends. Still, by the end of the day, we all ask ourselves, is it still over? All these dead coming after, and so close to Halloween. The days all start to blend. The goblins and princesses of the miniature world, not so different from the ways in which we imagine. Those who are gone, their memories smaller, their clothes brighter. We want to see them only candy too, so much candy. That our own own mouths will get hypnotized by the sweetness. Our own eyes dazzled by the color. Our noses by the smells. The first cool breath of fall makes a fire always burning somewhere up. We feed our minds. The first cool breath of fall makes a fire always burning somewhere out there. We feed our memories. And then humans that we are, we just want to move quickly away from it all. Happy to the richness of everything. If unsettled by the cut pumpkins and gourds, the howling decorations, the marigolds sent us to Chile. If it rains, they stink, these fuzzy flowers of the dead. Bread of the dead, day of the dead, it's hard to keep saying the word. They take over the town like beach vacationers, returning tourists, getting into everything. I had my honeymoon here, they say, and are always full of contagious nostalgia, but it's alright, they go away after a while. They go and you miss them all over again. The papel picado, the cut blue and red and green paper decoration. The empanadas and coconut candy, the boxes of cajetas and saladitos, which make your tongue white like ghosts. You miss all of it soon enough. P pictures of people smiling, new stories, all the fiestas, all the exhaustion. The coming night, the sweet breads, the bone tiredness of too much, loud noise, loud colors, loud food, 
mariachis even just talking because you know if we do think about our dead wherever they are we'll get sad and begin to look across at each other it's all a lot of noise that belongs here the loudest help us not think to make us confuse the day and our feelings of happiness because you know if we do think about our dead wherever they are we'll get sad and begin to look across at each other Calavera sin nombre por Davina Guadalupe Ponce Martinez. In this special month in which everything is party and dance, we remember with love, traditions, and praises. It is necessary to remember that even with faith, that we will meet again to remember his adventures. For loved ones, we will build an altar. For their souls and heartbeats, we send coming back. So we celebrate them with large pieces of bread placed on altars with flowers, candles, and sky. These exquisite breads that are colorful, of worn, and bone shapes we will leave for them. To make them happy in their fleeting visit, in this land of love, the memory that leaves. For me, it is a great gift to be able to find them on such special days and be able to enjoy them. If my dead ones knew how much I miss them, they would come every day, and they would be very pleasant. I wait for them sitting down, for I know they'll converse these two nights full with atoles and cookies. Dear happy souls, knowing that we love, that we love you, we remember your, we remember your love and await your return.